six weeks ago, I put an Instagram post up. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is the same as my YouTube channel. I put up a post about a new bag that I had gotten for my anniversary. And there was a request for me to talk about it in a review. So I'm going to go ahead and review it today. And this is the bag. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put in larger shots so that you can see all kinds of details and everything better than right here. But let me try to at least fit a little bit more of it in. This leather tote comes in four different colors. I have the chestnut brown. I think it's such a beautiful, classic color. All of the colors are really great that Saddleback offers, but every piece that I own from them, I always get in chestnut. I just am really attracted to this slightly reddened brown color. I have it in the size large because I want a large tote. It ends up being about 14 and 3 quarters inches high is what they say on their website. This bag is pretty large and holds everything that I need to take without any problems. And the large size is $519, I believe. So I'm gonna run through some of the things that I really love about this bag. First off, these handles are very comfortable. You can hold it this way to carry, or it has two straps so that you can put it across your shoulder like this. You'll notice that it has this right here, and that way you can keep your straps together, which is really nice if you wanted to carry your bag across your shoulders. The two straps are now basically tied together. So I love the straps. I love how these are, they're not too stiff because some bags come and they're really, I don't know, they're really annoying with the straps, but these are perfect. It's kind of hard to describe how these, they just feel worked in. They're not too stiff, they move really easily, and maybe I'm the only person that gets bothered by straps that are too stiff. Oh, hi, Coda. Okay, so like I said, the straps are very comfortable. I also have got to say that I love the handles. I do carry mine sometimes by the handles, especially to get in and out of the car. They're covered with their own piece of leather, which just makes it very easy to carry or grab them by. So mine is currently filled with all of the stuff that I use to go to work. So I'm gonna empty it out and give you some close-ups. Okay, this is the inside of the bag. So you can see that it's in a lighter color than the leather on the outside of the bag, which makes it really easy when you wanna look inside. You can easily see all of your things that you've got stowed inside. This has the ability to take out the liner on the inside of the bag. If you wanted to take it out to wipe it down, or also you could call this a false bottom, this liner lifts out like this. So, that's pretty easy for cleanup, or if you wanted to stow away something in the bottom of your bag. You can see that it's a pretty simple design on the inside. You have a nice pocket on this side, which you could fit a cell phone in, although I have the 6 Plus, so it's a little bit too large to fit in there. And what I do in that case is I put my wallet in here, which is also by Saddleback Leather. Here's my wallet. Again, chestnut brown by Saddleback Leather, and you can see it slips really easily in there. Just for comparison, here's the iPhone 6 Plus. It's just a little bit too wide to fit in there. And located on the same side of the tote as the little pocket is a place to attach your keys. So on the opposite side is a sewn in pouch which I actually don't use. It has a little toggle if you want to open and close it. I, like I said, don't keep anything in there, but it's nicely and attached and doesn't bother anything. It has a really classic construction and design to it. You'll notice that there's some gorgeous stitching and it's a really thick kind of leather. It is so sturdy and definitely stands up to any abuse that I have put it through. I have walked through the rain, set it down to close gates in a puddle. I mean, this gets uh, all kinds of use and abuse and it still looks like a beautiful uh, piece of leather. 
Of course, I have a few little scuffs going on, but that's the beauty about Saddleback is that they really embrace that kind of a look, that worn in, classic, been around for a hundred years kind of look. I would highly recommend Saddleback Leather. I'd say if you're looking to invest some money into a quality leather piece that is going to last you a very long time, then I would go ahead and look into it. I would also look at their sister company, Love 41. I have at least one thing by Love 41 and they do a lot of charitable work. So check out their websites. I'll link both of them down below and I think you'd be really happy with any of the pieces that you order from them. I highly recommend them.